Oh man, well, good morning. Thursday. Oh. You know what time it is. It's time to go to the gym, because, you know, this is how it works apparently today. Oh man, I didn't sleep hardly at all last night. At three o'clock when I was finally able to get to sleep. Ooh. I don't have any of my have any of my sleepy time gummies anymore and really need to get some. Almost eight. Everything hurts still. <coughs> Stretch out. All that good stuff. Probably not much going on at work today. We got some hoses to make. About it. There's one Goodyear ticket for one hose. Which is one of the few that I think we have 18 tickets left is what Mike said yesterday. And then there'll be no more Goodyear deliveries. So. I don't know. Don't know how things are going to work right now. Still. So. expect too much out of today. Well, let's say our morning gym time is probably one of the, like, the suits that I get the most comments on some videos. Yeah. Whether it's the judges all that are actually working out or the conversations that might be in. But, that's what I have to say. Uh, Perspective, because you made me that go. Yeah. So if that go to Target, we could hear that. The shirt is hiring. Work from home for 18, so I'm getting out. Yeah, I woke up at 4.30 and saw 
I definitely feel better after that. Actually moved around and stretched out a little bit. So that helped. I'm just being shoulders. I didn't do any arms today. But sadly I don't know how much of that after I go back and re-edit it, y'all have would have actually seen because there was a couple of parts of the conversation that you know, shouldn't be in there. <laughs> Not because there's anything bad, just because, you know, there's opinions that um, people don't want because they own businesses and stuff like that, and they don't want that out then, out and about. And, you know, they all know that I record, so respect that so that they don't, uh, they don't end the, them being okay with it. So, um, yeah, it's, it's cloudy today. It's just supposed to be overcast, so I don't think we're supposed to get any real rain. But. <coughs> oh, going to work. Let's see how that goes. Oh man, still stressing about that. I got to figure out a time to be able to go and talk to. JP works at Robinson Air. Put in that application and whatnot. So, oh shit, I'm hungry. I need to eat something. I didn't eat anything before I before I went to the gym, so that was probably a mistake. But yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. 
the day is definitely up in the air, so. hot in my car it's not it's pretty nice outside but you know i forgot to crack the well, i didn't forget to crack i didn't crack the windows today because i thought it was gonna rain it's all cloudy and foggy and whatnot when i got to work there's a chance of rain and then we got a like a severe storm warning that was supposed to hit us torrential rains and 60 mile an hour winds and hail and dragons and goats falling from the sky and then now it's just hot just sunny no clouds no nothing <laughs> success i bet these are gonna be hot on my face me yep those are warm all righty then so i made some belts today and one delivery you guys got well two deliveries which is like the top of the truck view I don't quite trust this magnet thing yet to not, to just leave it there for an extended amount of time. So I was just driving around with my hand on top of the, on top of the work truck. So that's why it's only, only, you know, that little bit of, that little like 30, 40 seconds. So, and everybody's going to be stopping by the house today. John's coming by to pick up the green RC truck and his tattoo cups that I ordered for him for his like model paint and stuff like that. Drew's coming by to drop off my memory card that I left in the camera. And then JP's dropping by to talk to me about the whole Robinson thing and drop off the a hard copy application it'll just be a everybody in and out checked my camera in my living room it seems like he's being pretty good he was just kind of chilled out which is fine uh, I was gonna have him clean the wall I found a concoction that gets all the got most all the stuff off of where Juno rubs her face along the wall to help her get down it, but I kind of want to wait until Saturday to do that so that I can watch him and make sure he's doing it. Because I know my mom can't really keep an eye on him that whole time while he's doing it. Where I can sit in my chair like a dictator. Like a pharaoh from ancient Egypt. Tell them what to do. That's 
in here, damn it. But, yeah, I'm going home. We got to work early, so we have to leave early. Perks of that job, I suppose. Oh. Got a comment while I was at work that I replied to, and that was from one of the one of the subscribers to the one tide was a, I appreciate that comment man I have given him motivation to start his own kind of you know just raw video channel just kind of chill and do stuff which is all this is I mean this is my daily life I know it's not exciting and the exciting stuff doesn't really get put on here I had four reasons so I said it I don't know like two weeks ago you know I used to have a very different life I used to not be a good person and I still don't think that I'm truly a good person but I'm trying I'm changing to be a better person for my kids and the people that I care about but there are still some some things that pop up from time to time from the you know the old way of living that have to be dealt with because you can't run from everything and sometimes things just have to be dealt with to make them go away forever not like that either uh, i don't mean the you know making shit do the you know the long map but sometimes you do have to confront things to make it you know not a not an issue anymore so Granted, I think that if I still lived the life that I used to live, I don't think, I know, it'd be far more entertaining for certain groups of people that have, you know, that sense of humor and are into that kind of thing. You know, I try not to be that person anymore. I used to fight a lot, all the time. That was one of the reasons I was a bouncer for so long. Just because it was... You know... I was pretty good at it. And it was a thing that... You know, people got shitty. It was within my job description to be able to get them out. You know, obviously you want to talk your way out of a situation before you put hands on anybody. But the places I was a bouncer at were... Not the greatest bars and strip clubs in the world. So hands-on was a pretty much everyday thing. So. But that's in the past now. We do everything we can to keep it that way. I'll take a, you know, I'll take a, a gig at a bar every now and again, playing door guy or bar bag or something like that. But I definitely pick my, I pick the bar's far better than what I used to. You know, there's a bar here in town called Scooters that has lots of issues, lots of fights, which, and back in the day, would have been a perfect, a perfect candidate for me to go work at. I don't, I don't do that anymore. I don't want to do that anymore, rather. I still will. But, you know, if times get tough, I'll go back to shoot it. I didn't make bad money. Like sidebar, I've I've bar backed and door guide at sidebar around here, and it's a much better crowd. Not almost zero fights there. I keep getting offers from the zoo and the zoo too to come be door guy there, but they always have issues. Hell, I end up handling issues there whenever I'm not even at work. Just you know, talking people out of it though. I said I'd much rather do that now than throw a punch as you get older you know those of you that have been in a fight or two or a gajillion fighting hurts no matter win or lose fighting hurts especially the older and the older you get the more it hurts so yay I do want to start boxing again though or training in MMA again. I know I trained it for for a while, but I haven't done it in so long. If I was going to do it, I'd want to start completely fresh, like I didn't know a damn thing about it. 
so those are expensive. I don't have that kind of extra money. Oh man. Alright. Well, I'm almost home. I've rambled for eight minutes now, so we'll check in later. I can go live on YouTube now, so maybe we'll do uh maybe not tonight, maybe tomorrow I'll do a, I'll play some hell divers and go live on YouTube. On the on the hill. Oh, we'll find out. So, alright.